Okay, I was watching this lecture uh, about peak finding. I'll put the link in the description for it. But basically, he explained peak finding and gave us two examples. And I found a couple of questions. For now, two in lead code, I will solve them. Um, and he was talking about binary search. One of the ways we can find peak finding in a fast way, uh, depending on how you define it, um, is binary search. So I thought it's a good, uh, it would be a good start to implement binary search and then go solve these questions in lead code. So I'll try to implement it in JavaScript and maybe make it generic and add it to the prototype of that. Right? And there is another video uh, in HackerLang. I will also put a link in the description for it explaining binary search. Um, yeah, okay, let's just start. So first thing, I'll create a variable called binary search. So it's a function, so it will accept an array, the element you are trying to find. Left, right, and first thing you need to find the mid, the midpoint, so math.seal, because uh, you do you need to do that because in JavaScript uh, there is it will give you fractions if you don't do that, and I don't want that. Uh, and I think in C plus plus or Java, it's, or defining that it's only enough since you define them as integers. So if we find the element, it's, if it was in our mid, we will return true. So we will keep defining the array until we will find element with. Uh, until we find an array with only length of one that the element inside of it is equal to the element you are searching for. So else if, if, if this element is less than our mid, we will search from the left. So since the array is sorted, this is one of the things in binary search. You need the array to be sorted so for this to work. But uh, in peak finding, in peak finding uh, you can use the same approach but without... Uh, the the criteria that the array should be sorted. You can like use the same logic, the divide and conquer logic, to solve some questions without the array being sorted. And okay, so else if the if the element is bigger, so just else, return binary search, and you need to search the element from the mid to the right, mid plus one of course, plus to the right. And we don't have a stopping condition so since this is a recursive function, uh, and that would be if you take a, if you take a couple of examples on a piece of paper, you will realize that left will be bigger than right if there is no element that matches our our uh, that our criteria, which is, should be equal to x. So we can try it. So array from length of ten map. So for each element. Take the index and plus one to it. So this will give us. Uh, I'll log it for you. So const a. It will give us a day from one to ten. Okay. One to ten. So I can. So I, I can use binary search here. So binary search. The array. The element is, for example, ten. And left is zero, and right will be a dot length minus one. So give it the indexes, the indices from the start and the end. It should give us true, which is, which means it exists. First, uh, so this is the complexity of this uh, is log n, uh, log n, and is the size of the array. But to make this generic, I think we we should. Um, Add it to the array prototype. So array prototype dot function uh, dot binary search equal a function, and you need to use the function keyword. So this inside the function will be uh, will point or will be bounded to the array that have been that called the binary search on it. Uh, usually, you don't see this kind of syntax in today's JavaScript. But if you write uh, like a library or uh, something really complex, eventually you will end, end up doing these kind of things. In RxJS, in the previous uh, versions, you, you, we should, we used to import the library, we used to import the functions like this, so I think something like this. Uh, then map, or maybe 
pi something like this and uh, what the what this which each script will so you are only creating one script that does this but to the rxjs library map so it's only when you import that script it will attach a function to the rxjs prototype and then you can use it i think this is one of the things that is called uh, cl class based tree shaking so to eliminate that code uh, chrome developers made an episode called uh, class based tree shaking which uh, was really nice so to start doing this it will accept x the element you are trying to search for a function to allow the binary search to be generic to search over a binary uh, array of objects left starting from zero right and this is cool feature in javascript i can i can use the other variables here so minus one and this dot length uh, is referencing the length of the array that you call this binary search on which is nice in other languages i think you can't do that uh, but it makes the function definition looks weird so the same thing if left begin then right return pause then find mid can copy this and the thing is now i will define a variable called res it will be equal equal to if we have a function so assuming that the user wants if the user passes a function assuming that this is an array of objects i will call the function with this of index mid else I will just use this of index mid so this of index mid equals this syntax here so the array of index mid the same thing but I will pass it to the function so you can you compare them by a property but still you need to pass an array of sorted objects by some properties property so if x equals to res return true maybe you can return the object itself so this mid uh, else if if x is this then res search the left side so return this dot binary search so call binary search on the array itself with x and the function left mid minus one and else just return this dot binary search scroll x function uh, mid mid plus one so search the right part to right uh, that's this should be it so let me create an array of objects const aa array from length then map it i will map it to array of objects like i will, I will ignore the first argument i will only use the index so mark will be i times 10 and name will be name i will inject the i in it so let me console log the this array okay so the length of 10 so we have array of sorted objects so mark they are sorted by mark you can say so from 0 to 90 we can make it from zero, like plus 1 from 10 to 100 and if you want to search over it so array dot binary search and i i want the object of element of a uh, of mark of 100 but since this is an array of objects the fun our function does not know how to compare them in this so we will uh retain we will give it a callback function and you can see here if this is passed the callback function is passed i will just pass the each element I am on in the mid for it so this is object and what I should compare it it should return something so I will return object dot mark and let me yeah let me just reset okay so we have the object of one of value of mark 100 but we can simplify this function call we'll wrap it in a parenthesis and carry brackets and extract a mark and the 10 mark that's it same behavior so let's say 90 90 we can find it uh, 10 and if we have something that does not exist 110 false um, I, th I think this is really interesting 
And one of the things in the lecture, uh, it's peak finding. So peak finding, uh, one of the ways to solve it really, really uh, efficiently uh, in log of n uh, time is uh, to use the concept of binary search on an array. This array should, even if this array is not sorted, this should work. It's just the concept of divide and conquer in binary search to just eliminate half the array, each, each iteration of the recursive calls. Uh, I'll start doing them. Uh, I think they are really interested, interesting. So, yeah, I hope this was useful in any way.